I need to drill some uh, precise holes better than I can do with a standard uh, drill chuck. So uh, I'm gonna need collets. And I just picked up this set at the local flea market. I paid 20 euros for them together with a uh, arbor I needed. And I don't know how good these are, but for the 20 euros I paid for them, I'm willing to uh, take my first steps into the world of collets. But this is an empty three holder and my tailstock is empty too so I'm going to try and make an empty two holder. I already roughed out a piece of stock metal and I'm getting ready to uh, turn it further between centers. I'm using a cordless drill to move the uh, compound. That looks pretty good to me. I think that will work fine. Alright, so let's put in the workpiece and start cutting a taper. That's pretty rough. And we still need to remove some material. I uh, changed to a uh, high speed uh, bit with a nice radius, hoping that it would give me a good surface finish. But, uh, well. It isn't perfect. Switch. Um, there is a bit of a chatter pattern, although I didn't hear any chatter. It might be an imbalance because of this uh, lathe dog. Um, I think I overshot my mark, so I might need to shorten this. Uh, the tang later later on um, but for now I'm gonna polish it and then test fit it this is uh, what it looks like after polishing and the first uh, test uh, fitting um, I took off a bit too much hair but I think it will be fine I'm getting close. I uh, think I will. I'm gonna file these parts again and then polish it once more, and then it should be good enough. This is what it looks now. 
and I'll leave it like this. Um, you can see I cut off some extra in the middle. That's because of a, uh, a bit of damage that's uh, inside the quill taper. Um, next I'm going to turn it around and start working on the threading. Alright, let's uh, measure this thing. Thirty two sixty five millimeters. And this is thirty four nine. So I'll have to take off a little over two millimeters. Although I'm thinking I might leave this a little thicker than this one because the uh, well, let's call it a knot. It's pretty loose on there. I um, have a terrible amount of chatter turning the piece uh, from this end, and I don't know why. The uh, chatter never went away, but locking the cross side did help a bit. Um, Alright, I'm now going to cut a groove to uh, relieve uh, the threading tool. Yeah, that should do it. I'm just eyeballing this. The groove on the original is... Uh, deeper than really necessary. According to this uh, thread measuring thing, this is a 2.0 pitch thread. According to this table we need a 70, a 35 and a 60, oh sorry 80 and a 60 gear. This, uh, this table uh, is a bit confusing to me. I don't know why it uh, says uh, 110 are um, 80 for uh, some of the uh, um, uh, compounded gear. Does that mean I need 210 gears or does the total need to be 110? So like 55 and 55. Although I don't think it matters if it's 2 times 55 or 2 times 110. It's a bit confusing because I don't have 210, I don't have 280 gears. So, if anybody knows how this uh, works, uh, please enlighten me. I got lucky, the correct gears were already on there. So, uh, that's a plus because I hate changing these things. Um, to illustrate the uh, quality of these Chinese. Oh, cheap Chinese lathe. Um, I remember from the last time when I fitted these gears that I needed to grind off a piece of this bracket otherwise the um, it wouldn't slide up far enough so the uh, gears could engage. I've uh, installed my best uh, 60 degree pointy bit. Um, I've got a, a machinist square here with a line on there that I uh, made with uh, the point of the uh, uh, life center and I used this to uh, uh, set the tool height. I also use it to uh, make sure it's uh, square to the workpiece. Um, I don't have a threading dial so when I start this uh, I'll have to use the uh, motor in reverse to run it back and forwards. I can't disengage the lead screw from now on.
I'm getting close, but uh, um, the OD is a bit too big, so I will need to use a file to um, cut it down a bit. I uh, marked the jaw, and as long as uh, I go back to that uh, jaw uh, where the uh, lave dog uh, engages uh, the jaw, it should be fine. Not there yet, but it's close. Well, that's done. It's, it's just as loose as the other one. Not my best thread ever, but then again, I still can count my threads on one hand. It will have to do. Um, next I'm gonna chuck it up in the forge jaw and start working on the uh, internal taper. This is uh, how I uh, set up the uh, compound for uh, cutting the taper. It's... well... I wish I had a better um, like a stand because this one is pretty hard to uh, set up uh, on the center line. But that's what I have, it's what I use. Um, I got it indicated to within a hundredth of a millimeter. The needle is jumping a bit because the surface finish isn't perfect. So next is uh, boring this thing out. Well, drilling first and then boring. I drilled to 18 millimeters. So and now I'm ready to uh, start cutting the taper. And this worries me a bit because. I have no idea if I can get a uh, smooth surface finish on that. Well, this is not going to work. The uh, underside of the tool is uh, rubbing the workpiece. Um, I'm gonna find some other tool. I just spent an insane amount of time to grind this little tool bit. It's so freaking small. But at least this will fit into the uh, bore. I spent some more time uh, trying to grind this tool and I took a cut and it's uh, well it's my best boring job so far but <laughs> the others have been terrible so that doesn't say much. To 
bad all the chips stay uh, on the inside. I'm really having a hard time cutting this taper. I'm even experiencing uh, some chatter. I think the uh, chips that are tumbling around in there might be uh, um, damaging the tool bit. So <clears throat> I just uh, stoned the edge of the uh, tool and I'm ready to try again. sounds terrible. It probably is terrible. Oh! Horror. I knew this was gonna be the problem of the hardest part of making this thing. Well I finally managed to get a reasonable surface finish. Something I can probably polish up. I'm trying to figure out how to um, determine um, how far I need to bore this out and well, measuring this taper is kinda hard because it's also chamfered so I'm trying to figure out how to do this the best way I've come up with to determine how far I need to bore this out is to take the original holder put in a collet and measure the distance against the front of the uh, holder so that's 2391 so I'm gonna try and get this as close as possible alright I took another pass um, test fitting Twenty-three seventy-six. So that's still a bit under, but I don't think I can get any closer. So, and polishing it up will get me closer to the uh, original. So now I somehow have to polish up this uh, bore. All right, this is what I come up with. It's a piece of, uh, well, what is it? A central heating uh, pipe. I cut a slit in there. And I'm going to use this to hold this uh, piece of emery cloth. I just did a path with, pass with uh, 180 grit, and this is uh, 540. It's important to polish this bore uh, very smooth because. Uh, the uh, collet is going to slide on that when you tighten uh, well, the cap. Um, I use a little oil that keeps most of the swerve in there. Mm. And you just try and keep it as parallel as possible to the taper. That looks and feels pretty good. I could probably get it a bit better if I had some finer emery paper, but well, I don't, so this will have to do. Twenty three eighty five. Well, that's pretty close to the 2381 I measured with the original, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now I'm gonna cut a chamfer on the ID 
and then I'll put in a collet and I'll do a little measurement see what kind of run out I got I cut the chamfer and now it's uh, time for a test these things are pretty sharp it should be G-Bird I guess cap oh hold on you need to hook it up in the cap and then put it in I'm hoping for well two hundreds run out or less. That's not right. Hardly any better than my three jaw. But it is a little better than my um, drill chuck. I um, put it in the other way and I tightened up the uh, nut or cap as much as I could and now I have about um, 200 of a millimeter run out which is well less than one thousandth of an inch so I think I should be reasonable happy with this I don't know how good these cards are I don't know what kind of uh, uh, specs or run out rating they have but as my first color set and for only well, less than 20 euro I should be happy, I guess. Alright, now I only need to make one, make another holder that will go into the uh, uh, headstock because this is an uh, MT4 headstock, so more work for me. Well, it's all hobby. Um, well, that's it. Now I gotta edit all this shit.